Okay, I'll move on to topic three, which is another review that you will be reading. It is Katie's Log. So, for those that aren't familiar with Katie or Katie Kim, uh, she is a Korean American. She, she or Korean that grew up in America. She hails from my neck of the woods, New Jersey, which has a crap ton of Koreans. <laughs> and just like, in general, there's a lot of idols that seem to come from uh, yeah, New Jersey. Weird. Well, because uh, like yeah, there's there's like really big like population centers of like just Koreans. Like in New Jersey, like there's like you have Edison, New Jersey has a lot of Korean or like. Like right around where I am, there's a bunch of Koreans up north near like where the George Washington Bridge is. There's a lot of Koreans like there's just like really like big po- uh, Korean populations Summers, here. So there's a yeah. lot of people. Yeah, like they they, they hold like idol auditions like in town, like, yeah, yeah. like, like big hit. Um, I think like Starship or something like they're, they're like SM, like they, they hold auditions in this area because they know there's a huge Korean population. Um, so mm-hmm. Yeah. Katie Kim just tales from that. uh that neck of the woods she uh studied jazz music at berkeley college of music which is probably the most prestigious music school in all of the united states um but she had to drop out because of like financial um situations with her family um but what she's mostly known for is she's the winner of k-pop star season four uh yeah she was huge on there um and made the decision to sign with yg um nothing really happened unfortunately with yg um, and it just so happened that the person that was sort of in charge of her, his name is Sin X I T Y. Like I'm guessing it's like Sin City or something like that. That's the name of the producer. Uh, no, he was he was one of the he was a producer at YG that left the company. Oh and yeah, that's 100 percent Sin City. Yeah, he he left <laughs> the company to open a his own like label essentially called Axis so he just made an agreement with uh, YG to allow Katie to follow him over to Axis and they just sort of helped promote it a bit and she released a single last her debut single last year entitled Remember which is on this uh, release Uh, so well but yeah just to give some background because she's probably like not that well known at least yeah no yeah it says that they YG will continue to help with the distribution of her debut album. So just this album they'll help with, and then mm. she's on her own. Yeah, I mean, she she definitely seems more, like, self-sufficient uh, compared to, like, proper... It, she technically isn't really K-pop. She's more of just, like, a Korean artist yeah, doing, yeah. like, music, essentially. She's more of... Yeah, yeah, she's exactly. basically... She's, like, the equivalent to, like, Nikki from, like, 88 Rising, just, like, another, like, uh, like Asian person just doing their own sort of thing with, like, this type of, like, R&B music, which is why I, I ended up liking it uh, uh, more than... I, or not more than I thought it would. I definitely knew I was, go- I was gonna like it, but... Yeah, I guess more than uh, other people might. So, getting into uh, her log EP, we start off with No Instructions. Um, I thought this was a great opening track. Um, Katie's vocal talent is just outstanding, and she really fits these like R&B, like future-based type of instrumentals. Uh, she has really good uh, vocalization on the verses that I re- like in general. Just like the vocalization that she utilizes on the entire album, I just fell in love with immediately. Um, the I'd say the like the only like tiny um, bit that I maybe like uh, put against this song would be uh, the chorus like the no instructions kind of just gets repeated a bit too often for my taste but I mean I still like like the verses more than make up for it and I and her voice is just smooth as butter so I loved every second of it. Yeah, I so we talked. We've talked about her in releases before. Yeah, right? we talked about her. She's for, put out stuff. Yeah, okay. No, That's like what her I only. Thought. Yeah, we we covered her when she re- released uh, "Remember" like last year. Remember, so. okay, okay, yeah, yeah. Um, that's what I thought, but I wasn't hundred percent sure. Um, so yeah, I this is just the fantastic like R and B vocals that I kind of expected after remembering what we talked about like talking about her in releases um i really love the instrumentals and the chorus uh i like th- how like glitchy and unexpected they are like i didn't expect that like glit that much glitchiness and like this type of song really mm-hmm. um it was more yeah like i just you you expect most of this stuff to be like pretty chill like instrumental light uh, r&b um so that that caught me for a loop uh, but yeah overall just like really dreamy r&b song fantastic vocals and it, um which pretty mm. much pervades through the whole album <laughs> yeah 
And I mean, you know, I like this is like this is my thing. Like I, this is like probably yeah, like the yeah, favorite. Exactly. This is hundred. Like basically, your... when I'm adding the entire album to my smooth as fuck playlist, you know, I'm gonna, <laughs> you know, I like it. You, you know, I like it hundred percent. So yeah. Uh, moving on to the uh, second song entitled uh, "Future Love." Uh, just a oh, one thing I have to mention before. Uh, we move on, because uh, her she released the album first on her YouTube channel before it dropped on Spotify. Um, mm-hmm. The cool thing about like seeing like or listening to it on YouTube was because um, there's because the album art here that we were showing on the screen right now is just the like the the album like the whole album album art. But she made mm-hmm. there's album art for each individual track, and this one looks so dope. It's like a heart made out of like binary and everything. It's like yeah. basically like the same yeah, like sort of at format. Them all now they're yeah. really cool. Yeah, I love that. I wish more. I wish more um, groups would do that. In all honesty, it's so cool. Um, anyway, onto the actual. Um, track here yeah this is again a lot more r&b less of that uh, feature influence on it definitely a lot more of a traditional um again just her voice just is so perfectly fit for these types of songs just because like she's got the right amount of sweetness and raspiness to her voice um again i love she's showcasing a bit of vocal range here i mean she for these songs you tend to stay pretty monotone to some degree but she there's some sections mm-hmm. where she goes to a really low register especially for a female singer so that i was really yeah. impressed with yeah i really like the string accented notes with her singing there's like parts where like w- there's a couple words i can't remember i didn't write the words down but she'll say like a word in both um syllables they'll have like a string part to it yeah i um, love that like, that was a, that was a really cool um and i like how they added an instrumental layer during the pre-chorus um because the verses are like super empty and echoey hmm. but it, it builds a little bit for the pre-chorus and chorus which like it's weird to say because the song's super chill and super empty yeah, overall so you wouldn't but there are there's a, there's a tiny it? bit of build between the verse and the chorus and the pre-chorus and the chorus which like was a nice nice touch even though like you don't expect that for these songs that are pretty Hmm. pretty much stay in their energy level like yeah yeah exactly and i mean like it's pretty easy i guess in a way just for there to be a build because literally the the only instrumentation is just like that like that drum track basically yeah yeah, exactly and Honestly, with someone as good as of a singing voice as her, that's all you really need. Yeah, in all she, yeah exactly. Like she's hard. The focus all of these songs. songs is your vo- voice. Like you, the instrumentals are just there to help. Like it's not the focus. Like most K-pop is, hmm. where it's much more important. Hmm. Uh, moving on to the uh, lead single off of this EP, we're on to "Thinking About You." Um, for a second, I thought it was going to be a cover. Of, like Frank Frank Ocean's most popular song back in the day was called Think About You and it, it this oh, is in yeah. the same key so I was just like is this a cover for like the first five seconds of it so uh but no it, it's an original song um so as a big fan of like her first single in Remember I was just like I don't know if there's anything that's gonna top this and she managed to make a song that probably ends up either matching it or matching Remember or topping Remember in all honesty because I can't stop I can't stop listening to this song I can't stop think thinking about this song like the like the freaking like title says i can't stop like singing this song um again this is uh this is literally just a perfect showcase of what somebody with her vocal talent is capable of like the again the chorus like the you is yep incredible um like again there's nothing really too crazy in terms of belting but again it's just I can't really think of yeah, too it many. It doesn't need it though. Yeah, it doesn't need it because there's just so much other like there's just so much other like details she's showcasing in her voice, and it's just she fits it so perfectly that you don't need like belting and all that sort of like additional stuff to make this song enjoyable. Um, yep. Again, like as some, I'm I'm. V- I'm a huge fan of like a lot of like R and B female like solo singers that do music like this, and like she shot, she's like shot her way up to like my favorites list, like surprisingly, like in a surprisingly short time. Like I did not expect to like Katie's music this much so fast, but um, yeah, this is a yeah. th- this is essentially like a perfect song for me. In all honesty, it's like this is the type of music I just love listening to. Like outside of basically when I get tired of listening to like the same old K-pop over and over again, this is just what I listen to like every day. How can you get tired? I get tired of K-pop Never. so easily, Never. man. In all honesty, like that's why I listen to this. Like like this is most of the music I listen to. In all honesty, just because yeah, it's a yeah. nice like sort of change of pace from everyone like 
like hype boy group music or just like cutesy girl group music like this is the type of music i'm really into um yeah as, yeah. For, as for like the music video or like the visual elements uh, it, it's not as crazy as i remember music video which i'll kind of get into later um and i love the aesthetic of this there's like a lot of they make use of like a lot of like cool like glitchy technology again it's definitely her visual aesthetic um like there's like a the part where there's like a thermal camera and you see her like leave like a handprint and everything i just i love like cool stuff like that um the outfits are nice it's like this really cool contrast where um, most of the people in the music video like the background like people and katie herself are wearing red and then most of the background's like a black or white like a neutral type color so it's a really good contrast mm-hmm. and color block um Katie with bangs looks amazing. Like, I love this look from her because she had, like, more of, like, a parted and lighter hair color. Um, like, more and more, like, wavy uh, in Remember, which, again, I'll get to later. But, yeah, like, her with, like, the straightened, like, bangs looks just incredible. Like, basically, I loved everything about <laughs> about this, like, release. Uh, it, it's just as close to perfection as you can get for me. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, for me, I, I love the like super heavy reverb synth and like slow, super slow, like deep instrumental intro. Um, just overall the song just sounds really heavy. Um, and I love that. And then like you mentioned the, the falsetto chorus with like the, the U is like the super melodic U part was like a really good switch up compared to the rest of the, like how heavy and deep the rest of the song Mm. is. So yeah, it really stood out to me. I really like the song too. Um, and yeah, the music video was really cool too. Like you said, the, there's a lot of really cool use of yeah, like thermal, night vision imagery, and just in general the use of light uh, and like spotlights and just lighting in general. Yeah, the, the whole contrast music video was the really cool. Yeah. Um. So yeah, it was a really really cool music video on top of a really great song. It's funny how like heavy some of her music can be when she has like the she has like the softest voice I feel like known to man and it, it translates to like because she had a she you know genius like the company like that like website that like does like all like the lyrics or whatever they have a YouTube channel um, where they mm-hmm. interview like artists and they talk about like what the lyrics of their songs mean that sort of thing so she was on one of the videos there and she just has like the softest sweetest voice I'm just like oh my god <laughs> she's incredible. Um, Speaking of the song mm-hmm. that she was discussing in that uh, Genius video, I guess we can link that in the description if you want to check it out. Uh, we're moving on to the her, or, uh, I guess a remix of or a new uh, version of her original single, Remember, featuring Ty Dolla Sign of all people. So Ty Dolla Sign is probably like one of the hottest like it, names in... I guess, he's mostly a singer, so he, he does a lot of features on other like hip-hop artists, but I guess you can put him in that like hip-hop sphere like he's working with people like j cole and lil wayne and like post malone like he's getting like Mm -hmm. a lot of he's very popular so i was just shocked when i saw like what katie of all people to work with ty dollar sign katie like i didn't expect it at all um yeah the wikipedia so the the guy who started the what was it sin city i guess managed him previously Oh, so that's he, actually pretty cool. Yeah. Yeah. So he has connections to like the American music industry in that sort of way. So that's an awesome, that's really awesome for, and it, it having Ty Dolla Sign on, on, on this remix or this um, version of the song means there's more of a chance it can get airplay in the United States. So that's probably what the thinking was in re-releasing this with a Ty Dolla Sign feature. Um, Mm-hmm. I mean, I kind of went over, like, last year how much I love this song. Um, it was probably one of my favorite songs of the last year because this song is, like, 100% freaking, like, future bass, like, the drop and everything, and her vocals in here are still incredible. Like, again, like, the... Uh, like, the vocalization that she kind of uses in Thinking About You, similar type of vibe to it. Um, yeah, just... Uh, all of this is just, like, the music I love listening to. Um Ty Dolla Sign, like I, 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 uh, I'm not necessarily a big fan or I, I or that experienced in listening to his music, but I mean I have heard him before, so I, I think he he definitely mm-hmm. adds a lot of value to this uh, mix. Um, the only thing I would like better is maybe a smoother transition between his like feature verse to like the the core like the chorus because it just he just ends and then it just goes i swear to god i still taste you just like really like abruptly so if there was a bit of a smoother transition between the feature and going into the chorus or if he contributed mm-hmm. beyond that i think it would have been um better um again we talked about the music video last year as well it's probably one of the most memorable music videos i've seen in years it basically looks like a yeezy fashion show or something like that it's just crazy like 
outfits and styling and there's like all this like liquid gold cg stuff or whatever just like yeah. it looks like an apple like iphone ad or something like that just incredible like imagery like i think that's the one thing I might like about Katie the most is that she has such a distinctive visual style that goes so well with her music, which in itself of itself is very distinct and unique to, I guess, just the Korean music scene or just what we'd normally cover. So again, this just oozed like originality for me. And yeah, I, being a, a song I already liked, uh, I obviously went in liking it and just the, the Ty Dolla Sign feature, I feel like added to it still. Mm hmm. So you, you said the song came out last year without the feature? Yeah, without the feature. It's and, pretty and much the MB is and we the, the MB is almost the same, the same. And they just it's added a part with him. Yeah, they just it. added a okay. part with Ty Dolla like Ty cool. Sign went to like this one building in LA where everyone films music videos. Like Hyodin did her <laughs> um Hyodin did her Dali music video in that yeah. same building. Like okay. it, it's just like a famous filming spot. So. Yeah. I I was just like, because, yeah, I I thought we covered uh, like I didn't I didn't remember this song. Because I like, I feel like I would have remembered a feature um, like this, and so it makes sense that it was this song, but without the feature. Um, but yeah, I, I like how this song is much more loud and like anthemy compared to the rest of the album. Oh, it like definitely it injects it injects a nice bit of energy to the album. Um, so it was, I think it's in a good spot. I, her vocals are utterly fantastic, um, and yeah, like you said, I the feature was good. I really liked when they harmonized, um, but yeah, I, it, it could have been a little bit better, um, but that's just me, um, and yeah, I agree that the transition was a little abrupt, that was something I noticed too, um, and I thought the drops with the altered vocals um, are great too, um, like the standard, like do, taking the do, vocal, altered vocals do, and making do, them do, instrumentals yeah. uh, for the drop um, was great, and then yeah, the music video, so the second half of the music video is more like... Like you said, it was like kind of like a like yeah, just like a hip hop fashion show. It's like more of a standard like R and B hip hop MV. I felt like, but yeah, the first half of the music video is just to me. You said it was like a Apple Music ad. It's what it reminds me of, it, it reminds me of the opening to a Bond movie. <laughs> yeah, like, it's like the oh Bond God, opening credits is yeah, exactly what it looks do, like. like weird shit There's just for tons Bond of weird like imagery with like liquids and like just weird stuff Naked going on, and that's like, I don't know. Yeah, yeah, exactly, <laughs> and just like silhouettes and like it looked exactly like that. I was like, this could easily be the opening of a Bond film. Um, so that that's what it reminded me of, which is cool. Like it's really yeah, cool. I, I didn't. I should look up who like the like the director, or the cinematographer of this was because they must have they must have done like commercials or like something other than like just music videos like this music for videos, it to be yeah, like yeah. this. Like, yeah, it seems like they're advertising a product or something, but it's just like a music yeah, video. Yeah. <laughs> hmm. So I mean, given the preference, I'd probably listen to like the original version minus the Ty Dolla Sign feature. But I mean, yeah, yeah this one's same. still pretty good too. Uh, moving on to the next song, which is entitled uh, Love Kills, and another just standout song for me, um, probably just because, again, I love the the way she vocalizes on the chorus. Um, and again, we were, I was talking about like how much range she had on Future Love, and then on Love Kills, it's just even like, like there's that part in the chorus where it basically like, do, 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 it, it keeps going like higher and higher and higher. Like she basically does almost like an entire scale as the melody. And it's, uh, yeah, there's like the, it's just like a vocal like showcase essentially. Like she's, she's holding such a clinic in terms of what she's showcasing on all these songs. So like, I really love, um, that aspect of it. Um, yeah, it's definitely mm -hmm. a lot chiller than uh, something like Thinking About You or, even, or Remember, but I still, again, just the vocals are probably what stand out the most here, because she just does it more than enough um, to make it interesting for me. Yeah, uh, this is actually my favorite song on the album. Um, I mm. I really love the high-pitched vocals for the chorus. Um, they really stood out to me. Uh, like you said, the vocals are very much stand out, but even the instrumentals for me, I really liked. I like the repeated bells, um, and the beat despite it being repetitive is really interesting i to me the the instrumentals have an industrial vibe to them and it oh, reminds me of like the whole album it reminds me of uh like a chill version of taeon's um i got love yeah basically like it's, it's, it's like a really vibe. chill version of that that song's instrumentals mm. um so i i really enjoyed it I, this is this is my favorite song on the album for sure mm. 
And we close out the album with Better Off, which actually might be my favorite um, uh, like song of the album. That wasn't a single because I love thinking about you so much. Um, yeah. Oh, again, just like like I mentioned before, like she went to school. She went to freaking Berkeley to study jazz. And that's just mm. like she's showcasing like all that she like learned there in this track. Like, yep. She basically like she reminds me of someone like Esna in all honesty with just like how yeah, yeah. perfect she's she's meant to do this kind of music essentially with the way that she's like the, the smoothest of her voice is just it's a match made in heaven essentially um I get the instrumentals are fairly simple like there's just like a drum track and like some like electric like keys which I a sucker for all the time but again just yep. like the way that she vocalizes just, again just super hard carries this song and it was a great way to end um the album and it was in a way it's kind of a nice change of pace to do this like more traditional um yep. like kind of 90s r&b when she's doing a lot of these more like modern um more hip-hop uh influenced r&b songs and this is just straight up this sounds like something you could release in korea and get popular um with so just Again, the, the showing it just that bit of range, I really appreciated. Yeah, yeah, I thought this was a great way to end. Um, I just love that like lounge singer vibe, the acapella like ba parts. Um, ba. Just vocals in general shine in this song. There's tons of layering and harmonizing, and just yeah, like you said, this is a much more like traditional sound for R and B, like older school vibe. So it and just that like jazzy lounge feeling just she does so well so yeah it was a really really good way to end the album yeah i'd I'd want more i want a single like this in all honesty because if she releases a single like this in korea she'd probably blow up like immediately (laughs) because they love their they love their ballad they love their r&b over there so especially like older like people like around my age um so yeah i think she'd definitely have a market in that sense um yep so uh getting on to the uh scores ratings um single i'm giving a 3.5 out of 3.5 just full mark two in a row both yeah i did not expect it like like both of these so much See if we can go three in a row oh no (laughs) just no it's funny that now um so yeah like thinking about you just sort of showed me a completely different side of her compared to like what we got with remember and just i'm all for i'm all for it i'm all for both types of music in all honesty just because this is what Mm -hmm. i listen like Katie is essentially like an artist that's kind of like built specifically for like the my musical tastes. So I I don't know. It's just just everything about it was perfect in that sense. Album I'm giving three out of three point five. Um, minor like deductions just for like I guess just minor things and like no instruction or whatever. But I mean almost I I'm going to listen to every single song on this album like repeatedly, which is very rare just because we're always like listening to new music. So I don't have much time to go back. But I mean I actively will go back to this um album like sometime in the future or like all the time essentially um concept three out of three just again i feel like the visual elements of katie's uh, both in like the music video the styling even the album art like it, it feels like such a big important part of her as an artist and you rarely get to say that at for like k-pop i feel like for most k-pop artists or most k-pop groups it's the visuals and all this stuff is like it it's an it serves an end to a means essentially it's not necessarily a, a focus in some degrees where i feel like it's this is so much more integral to her as an artist which i do appreciate and we really get to see so that's a total of a 9.5 out of 10, which I've only given probably like once or twice the rest of the year. I think the only one other one I gave might have been um, to uh, Becky Eden's album. So like that's that's how highly I'm rating this where and like in all honesty, Katie's probably up there with like Dean and Off on Off and Ju Young and Becky Eden for like R&B artists that I'm just in love with completely. And I can't, I can't wait to hear more music Mm. from her in all honesty. I hope she being like based out of the U S I hope she tours here. I'd pay like, I'd pay immediately just to see her in concert. So, and you know, it's going to be live vocal. So that's going to be an amazing experience. Yep. Nine point. Uh, yeah, for me. Um, yeah, I actually had overall notes. Don't the one thing I wanted to mention before I gave my score was like, you said the album art was, just even just the general general album art it's really cool it's like a doorway in, in a desert with stairways leading up um and then yeah like you said it's cool all the different songs have different takes on that doorway image with different yeah. things in the doorway um 
so yeah, just album art's really, really cool. Um, but yeah, so overall I gave it a 6.5 out of seven for music. Uh, same as you, uh, just, just a couple like smaller things here and there to knocked off a 0.5, but overall I loved everything on the album. I thought it was fantastic. Um, and then I also gave it a three out of three for concept. Uh, music videos are really cool. And, um, like I said, especially the album art is something that doesn't really affect my score usually. Um, cause for the most part, and at least in K-pop, it's, it's rarely something that's noticeable yeah, to like said, where it, 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 it deserves it, it, it to serves affect an the score. Means, essentially. It's um, just there to be but, there. <laughs> yep. But, uh, yeah, so here it was fantastic. So three out of three, uh, same score as you, 9.5 out of 10. Oh my God. <laughs> Wait, uh, what did Jacob end up writing? Uh, yeah, so Jacob's summary, uh, he said, Overall, it's a really solid R&B EP, which I think could have some potential to catch some steam in the U.S. or in the English-speaking markets, considering the whole mini-album is in English. Yeah. Katie's vocals come out really sweetly and are easy to listen to. Thinking About You is probably the standout track of the album for me overall. Also really enjoyed the retro vibe of Better Off. That- better off gave off hearkening back to styles of singing from the 50s or so every track on the album is a decent r&b track the only thing that might hurt the album for people who are used to a typical k-pop style album is the lack of variety as far as the music style of music goes this is much more in line with what you'd find from an american artist ep yeah that however doesn't hurt the album much for me because i don't think it really falls into the k-pop paradigm of album structure anyways especially with every track being recorded in english mm-hmm. overall i really enjoyed all the tracks on the album and we'll be revisiting this from time to time side note also really like the album art um we're all talking about the album art. Yeah, no <laughs> surprise well jacob. yeah jacob actually jacob's the one who only talks about, about it yeah. so if he didn't talk about it i would have been worried um his rating uh he gave it a 6.5 out of 7 for music and uh 2.5 out of 3 for concept for a 9 out of 10 wow we're looking good here uh in terms of scores um so cooper he's the deciding factor i guess he wrote uh I really like Katie's whole R&B vibe. A lot of the songs sound kind of the same to me, but it's enjoyable to listen to just listen through the album over and over again. The only song I really don't really enjoy is Remember. The drop is a turn off, a major turn off, but it's better here because that part is shortened. Uh, Thinking About You is probably my favorite track. I love her vocal timber. Um, I will say her MVs are always really beautiful and interesting to watch the attention to detail and added effects are really cool a 5 out of 5 out of 7 for music a 2.5 out of 3 for concepts for a total of 8 out of 10 so that averages to a 9 this gets a that gets a yeah it gets the shiny like and it deservingly deservedly so like this immediately goes on it's gonna fight for with with, like Becky in for like mini album of the year for me in all honesty it's that good um those two are probably Mm -hmm. gonna fight for like best like R&B artist or best female solo art oh yeah definitely (laughs) yeah I I really don't I really don't know which album I prefer because like the style of R and B that Beckett in does is kind of different to like the style of that Katie does, but they're both equally yeah. as good. So, just as a fan of like female solo artists, like this is where they're just both killing it in that way. Um, so, what are your thoughts on Katie's log EP? Do you like thinking about you? Do you like remember? Did you expect freaking Ty Dolla Sign to show up in this album at all? Um, do you mind that's in all in English? I mean, that's that's a pretty big thing, I guess for. K-pop fans are just used to like not understanding lyrics or lyrical content for most of the part, but I mean it really didn't affect me too much in all honesty. If anything, it just made it easier to sing along to a lot of the, the songs. Um, so definitely, if you haven't heard of Katie, check this one out. It's so like I usually don't try to like super like shove like albums down people's throats, but this is literally like one you have to listen to this year. It's 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 that good. So definitely, if you have any thoughts on it, leave your, your comments. I absolutely love this song. Uh, I thought this was a great acoustic pop track. The guitar part for the chorus is insanely catchy. Uh, the pre-chorus is like a really awesome anthem sound that like really hypes you up. The vocals and the drums work so well together. And then uh-huh. the chorus has a hint of like tropical, like really, really.